So I'd like to start with uh, Lakshman Narasimhan. Lakshman, the key point is that over the last six years, we've been talking about cleanliness that leads to uh, better health. Now, in the seventh year, it's that message is so important. It's crucial to survival now. Uh, do you feel that, that that whole message has come to a climax this year? Uh, Lakshman, I don't know if you uh, heard that. It's just that uh, what I was mentioning, we've done six years of focusing on cleanliness for health. And right now, it's more important than ever, isn't it? Can't hear you, Pranoy. Apologies. <clears throat> Lakshman, can you hear me? I'll just double check. You're a uh, million miles away. Let's try that again. Pranoy, um, I can't hear you all that well, unfortunately. Um, about uh, two in the morning or something. I just wanted to know the message of cleanliness is most important this year, more than ever, right? I think, first of all, the need is really large. Um, there are billions of people who are fighting an unseen, unknown enemy. At this point in time, without a vaccine or without a treatment that is fully effective, the only thing you have uh, available to you is hygiene, um, hand hygiene, mask wearing, uh, ensuring you're a safe distance away, okay. Um, incredibly uh, in danger. So this is the, the, the need is large. Secondly, the need is getting larger. As we as humans collide with the environment even more, we are seeing even more um, the transference, the possibilities of transference of viruses from the natural world into humans. So the need is just getting. And I think at that moment, I think what we have to do is uh, truly drive uh, information that makes people behave differently. And I think programs like this over long periods of time help in still a set of behaviors that make things different. So the need is incredible even at this moment and will be so for times to come. Lakshman, uh, when we spoke with you in April the last time, your family was in America while you were in England uh, with your mother, uh, how have you coped with the pandemic uh, in this interim period? I think firstly, you know, what I've been through is much smaller than what a lot of other people are going through. Uh, I'm the only surviving child and uh, my, my mother lives with me, has lived with me for the last 24 years. And so she's been living with me in London. And ever since we went into lockdown, I have, um, you know, uh, essentially managed to for home along with her, but also work. And we've sort of been in lockdown mode, and uh, there's been a lot of debt all over the house. Just to make sure that she is safe. Uh, and, uh, you know, I count it as a bit of a blessing. I've had five months of an amazing amount of time with her, you know, breakfasts and dinners, which I never did for the last 20 years. So I count it as a blessing. And so she's all right. The family's now here. And, uh, you know, where uh, I feel a lot younger as a consequence of that. 